At the Priory School in Westmount, students are getting a real-life lesson in renewable energy. The students did all the legwork to buy the solar panels, who are now soaking up the rays, despite the rain, on the school roof. Kelly Gregg reports. A short climb to the roof of the Priory School, and you'll find the latest class project. It was just like such a cool new thing in the school that we could, we were like one of the only we're probably one of the only schools that has solar panels. These grade six students are responsible. They researched, tested, and purchased all the panels with only a little bit of help from their teachers. We learned about greenhouse gases. We learned about all the stuff that's hurting the environment. And then and we thought, well, why not? Let's do something about it. I haven't even saw any, seen any houses with solar panels. And to think that our school has solar panels is pretty cool. It was an ambitious project, says Headmaster Tim Peters, one that had 12-year-olds facing issues such as applying for city permits and getting cost estimates. We uh, make sure that they have they have good expectations, but that they also realize how many obstacles are going to need to go through for this to actually happen. So we didn't want to set them up for failure and if the, if the solar panels couldn't have been put on. The panels will provide 10% of the school's energy supply. After meeting with different companies, Quebec Solar was chosen to install the panels. Making a sales pitch to 6th graders wasn't what they expected. Their questions were so on point that we were actually surprised because their questions were sometimes smarter than the questions from our adult customers, so that was pretty funny. The students raised $35,000 to install these 20 solar panels on the roof. Even though they're graduating this year, they say it's their legacy to the Priory. We were influenced the solar panels and they're up there. They're going to be up there for a long time. I hear all my life like little things can make a difference and now I actually see that it's true. Kelly Gregg, CTV News.